internal light meter is displayed as a backlit LCD indicator at the bottom of the viewfinder. In some DSLRs, the indicator is also displayed simultaneously on the back or top of the camera, depending on your model. It's a rectangular scale that measures from minus two on one side in single numerical increments to zero in the middle and up to plus two on the other side. In the example on the screen, the meter is indicated by the small vertical rectangle that's situated in the middle immediately below the zero. Some cameras have a reverse numeration system in which the positive and negative numbers are on opposite positions from what you see on the screen right now. It makes intuitive sense to go from lowest to the highest in a left-right fashion, as this is relative to all reading and numeration scales, but don't expect that every manufacturer is going to follow this. The little rectangle will float along the horizontal path depending on the combination of available light, ISO, shutter speed, and f-stop. The general goal is to get the indicator as close as possible to the zero, as this indicates a proper exposure. As the indicator floats left or right along the horizontal path toward the negative two side, the light meter is indicating that your combination of exposure va variables is insufficient for a proper exposure. Generally speaking, the further from zero toward the negative side, the darker your image will be. Conversely, the photo will appear appreciably brighter with each increment from zero toward the positive side of the meter. If all exposure variables stay the same, so for example, you don't change the value of your ISO shutter speed or f-stop, um, if your environmental light gets brighter, so like for example, the sun breaks through a cloud, the light meter will move on its own toward the positive. Again, without changing the exposure variables, as the available light darkens, the light meter will also move on its own towards the negative. The light meter will also respond to changes in ISO, shutter speed, and f-stop. A higher ISO setting makes the camera more sensitive to light, so the light meter will move toward the positive side, meaning that the image will become brighter. A lower ISO setting makes the camera less sensitive to light, so the light meter will move toward the negative side, meaning that the image will become darker. In much the same way, your light meter will respond to changes in shutter speed. As you change your camera's shutter speed to higher numbers or faster speeds, the shutter will remain open for shorter periods of time. And because of that, the, the de decreased exposure to light will make the image darker. Your light meter will respond to higher shutter speeds by moving the rectangular indicator towards the negative side. Now, the opposite also applies. As the shutter speed is set to a lower number, more cumulative light enters the camera and the exposure gets brighter. The indicator will end up moving toward the positive. Mm -hmm.